Hello, this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today my topic is dictionary attack and brute force attack. In any major business、uh, database, such as Google, Amazon, or eBay, all users' passwords should be stored in the form of a digest. They should never be stored in plain text. However, hackers and cyber criminals can still be able to steal these files and hack our passwords. They use many methods and strategies. Today, I like to talk about two types of this attack: dictionary attack and brute force attack. A dictionary attack is a simple and fast password attack. By dictionary, I mean any digital resources that have words like Wikipedia. This is how it works. Step one: From a dictionary, hackers generate thousands of candidate digests. They create a huge lookup table. With these candidate digests and their pre-matched plain text passwords. Step two: Hackers compare these candidate digests to those in a stolen digest file. If there's a match, they get the password. Although such approach would seem impractical to do manually. Computers can do this very fast and run through millions of words in a few hours. Brute force attack is when the hackers use their computers to systematically cycle through each letter in a character set. A character set can be letters, symbols, numbers, or anything the hackers want. In the most simple terms. Brute force attack is a trial and error method, which attempts all the combinations for a password. This method is quite efficient for short passwords, but cracking all possible passwords is only a matter of time. As I mentioned before, hackers and cyber criminals are using many different methods and strategies. To steal and hack our passwords, dictionary attack and brute force attack, or the combination of these two methods we call hybrid attack, are just examples. They are very obnoxious, evil, greedy, but very determined. Therefore, we need to do at least three things. To protect our passwords, number one, our password should be at least twelve characters long. That's the minimum, twelve characters long, with the combination of letters, numbers, and special symbols. Some letters should be in an uppercase, and some letter should be the Lower case. Number two. We should have a unique password for a different account. Never use the one same password for all accounts. Number three. Our password should be updated at least every three months. And never reuse our old passwords. I know it's very difficult to manage to remember all these、uh, passwords and update every three months. And for myself, it's almost impossible to remember all my passwords, long, complicated passwords, without writing down in a pa- paper, which is a very bad idea. You should never do that. You might ask, 
Is there any good solution to password management? The answer is yes. But how to manage your password, our passwords, is another story in another video. Thank you very much and see you next time.